it was ecstatic, amazing, every emotion, um, profound joy. And that's been something that's been throughout our season. We had a chapel um, with Grayson, uh, who's a GA with cross country. She talked about profound joy and what that definition meant. And it, all the girls play, felt it, um, coaches, everyone. And we were just joyous. I mean, it was, it's something you're working for. It's something every team wants and you just kind of hope for. And then when it happens, just joy, pure joy with it. It was amazing. I don't know yeah. if it felt like this with you guys, but while watching it, it just felt like you guys the whole time were the team to beat. And is that something that you guys felt? Is there pressure there at all? That's really exciting for you to say because it did not always feel that way. And we were told, um, that we weren't always the team that people thought, you know, we were going to make it. So um, Casey Shingler talks a lot. He goes, you know, let's let's go prove the haters wrong. And it was really exciting to do that. Um, to us, it didn't always – and no one ever talked about it. No one ever said, oh, yeah, we're going to win this thing or anything like that. It was just a feeling um, and just knowing that everyone was going to give their, their all and give their best. So that was amazing that it came to fruition. And um, – for Casey, we proved the haters wrong, so it was exciting. How did the experience of making the NBA last year lose an early game, and how did that help you guys this year? There was a lot of um, a chip on our shoulders, and I wasn't with the team last year necessarily with the Elite Eight, and it was a great run. I, I followed it, I watched it. Um, it was amazing, and just to see the team um, come together in that way and just have that chip and just keep going match by match. Um, we never looked too far ahead. We weren't like, hey, in three matches we could win. It was, you had Wingate, then you had uh, in St. Louis, Missouri, then you had Concordia um, and the NCAA, and we gave respect to each team. So just that chip of, of chipping away and um, playing the team in front of us. I mean, that was a lot of hard work and a lot of perseverance and mental toughness for the team. And we were really proud of them for how they handled those situations. You talked about coming back feeling like you got some rest. Kayla comes back, had to take finals, and just graduated over the weekend. Yes. She feeling? <laughs> really excited, I bet. I mean, she had a smile on her face the whole graduation, and she looked she looked well-rested, too, so that was really exciting. But this last week was um, a lot of exit interviews, a lot of turning in equipment, and just not much of a turnaround, which we wouldn't have any other way. I mean, you have four trophies whenever you walk into the office, and you see those, and that's the hard work that the players put in. So, um, But I hope that Kayla got some rest Saturday night after graduation, um, and hopefully yesterday as well. Uh, but yeah, she travels back home, um, and that's hopefully she's doing well. I'm so happy about it. I mean, it's it's a blessing. It's God's plan. It's just so cool. They they deserve it. I've I've played under Kendra. Now coaching with her. It, it just seeing that growth in a ten year period and just knowing how much work she puts into it. And Casey's been here for um, quite a few years and just everything he does behind the scenes is incredible. And he deserves that so much. And the players love and respect both of them. And being able to be in the same office as both of them is a lifetime, just, I don't a lifetime goal. I mean, this was something I prayed for. So just being able to see that and see it all come to fruition is amazing. And they deserve every accolade that, that that's possible. I mean, they work so hard behind the scenes. Um, and then they look really good doing it in front of the scenes too. Obviously, you're, this just happened, so I'm sure y'all are enjoying every bit of it. But mm -hmm. when you think about how many players from this team you have coming back next year, uh, and even some who you know were young this year are only going to get better. Yeah. Uh, I mean, how exciting is that to know? Like, hey, man, uh, we it theoretically could be right back there again next year. There's a lot of hope with it. Um, I had to remind myself periodically throughout the season, like, don't think to 2023, but I'm really excited about it. Um, and I've just started um, having more conversations with our 2023 recruits coming into and just getting to know them on that level of this is what you're walking into. And um, there's that excitement. And there are players that people didn't see on the court near as much in, in games, but during practice, it was amazing. Um, We've got Carly Evitz that wasn't able to play this year due to transfer rules, and I'm excited to see her on the court. Um, JC Adams, um, a local player, I'm excited to see her um, just duke it out and get that, those opportunities. Um, Y'all saw Angelina Oliver, a uh, middle blocker, get to get a little bit of playing time and really excited about what she can do on the court too. So the players that didn't get as much time in playoffs but you still got to see bits of them in, during season. I'm really excited for, for those pieces to come together and um, just to showcase the, their level of talent next year.
so 2023 is going to be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm excited for the box, and I know it's going to be um, – we had a lot of fan support, but I know this next year I feel it, and everyone's been talking about it. it the box is going to be rocking, so please come out. <laughs> How much time do you guys get off when you start training? What's time off? <laughs> um, no, it's – there's a Christmas break that's going to happen here soon, but Casey Kinder and I are going to the ABCA on Wednesday, and they'll be honored with uh, their accolades of Coach of the Year and Assistant Coach of the Year, and um, Kendra's invited me to go out too, so that's really exciting to just be able to celebrate them. So um, that'll be a great networking opportunity and just to be able to see the Final Four um, for NCAA D1 as well, and then we get back into recruiting. I mean, we're, we're already doing that this week, and um, we've got some, some cool things coming out this week, uh, social media-wise and, and just Christmas-wise too. So it's, it's a fun time um, to, be a, to be a buff. Always a fun time, but it's a really fun time. Uh, NCAA, yeah. I like the underdog of San Diego because they have not been this far before. Um, but I'm also I'm a Texas girl, so of course the Longhorns. Um, but I think it's going to be a great match on Thursday uh, between those two teams. So.